<laughs> Hi there. Please excuse my raggedy voice throughout this video. Apparently, these plants decide to start f***ing, and now their sperm is all up in my nose, which I did not consent to. F*** you, ragweed. F in the chat for everyone with allergies. And without further ado, I bring you the Ruby Rose nail look that I created this week. This'll be the day we waited for! This'll be the day we open up the door! Damn, even when I have allergies, I still got some pipes! I'm starting off with Hollow Taco Long Lasting Base. Now, I know a lot of people want me to do Peely Base, but every time I use it, it starts chipping off in like two hours. And then it pops off like a day later, so I don't want to do that. Now it's time for some One Coat Black! This is one of my favorite Hollow Taco polishes, it always goes on just one- <laughs> Oh. Good job, Prince. You're already making mistakes. Now we're gonna use a stamping polish like a regular polish. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> this is indeed foreshadowing. Wow. Okay, this is actually applying pretty well. It's definitely more of an opaque red than any OPI polish I've ever tried. Come on, get painted! Why won't you get painted? Okay, this is bullshit. Christine, where is my red creme polish? Donde esta mi rojo, simply? Even if you're pissed off, don't forget to wrap a tip. Now let's just do a quick second coat of all these polishes, and then clean up the edges. Thankfully this went over without any mistakes. Let me just wipe this up. You didn't see anything. Don't forget to clean away your mistakes. Now time for some... Not Glossy Taco. I wanted to use Glossy Taco, but it's been sold out for quite a while now. So I'm gonna use this one while I wait for Glossy Taco to be restocked like a crackhead. Where's my drugs, Christine? KP Shimmer Free and Clear, however, is applying very well. Dare I say as good as Glossy Taco? But before you ever attempt stamping on your nails, you should always apply Glossy Taco of some sort and let it dry completely. Let that shit bake on your nails for 20 minutes. You already know what happened, don't you? Yes, I forgot to record the footage for this scene. It was supposed to be me applying Simply Peel. But I'm just gonna create a time anomaly and we're gonna skip a week into the future! <laughs> and five, four, three, two. Oh god, they're cracked open like a bunch of herpes sores. Don't ask how I know that. Anyways, this is what happens whenever you use KB Shimmer Free and Clear, unfortunately. I've talked to other people who've used this polish and they've had the same thing happen. Anyways, time for Simply Peel like no big issue! I know the peel is incredibly satisfying, but I also really like just watching it be applied because it just looks so gloopy and white and... Okay, I'm gonna stop. What time is it? Probably time for me to get a boyfriend. And probably an HPV shot. Okay, we're gonna get back to the present now. I think this beautiful flower design is very fitting for Ruby Rose. And I'm actually gonna use this stamping polish to stamp with this time. It's Maniology Straight Up Black. It's very, very black. This part of stamping is where you must work with extreme speed. As soon as you paint the polish onto the plate, you have about three seconds to transfer it to your nail. But of course I'm gonna show it off close up before I do that. Let's see if the stamping gods have decided to be kind to me today. Ugh. And... Oh my god! It actually worked! And really well, too! I am thoroughly pleased with this nail. I bet the other ones are going to be just as easy. However, in fact, they were not all that easy. This seems really on brand for Ruby Rose. It kind of resembles her little rose pendant that she has with her. And to make it resemble that pendant even more, I'm going to use Maniology Sew so Metal. A light, bright, metallic stamping polish. Paint it, and scrape it, then pick it up. Oh, I see the stamping plate's name got on there a little bit. Surely that won't cause any problems down the road. I can honestly tell you guys that I was not expecting what would happen next. Oh, that's great. Just great. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? I tried to wipe it off with my finger, but it was already drier than I am whenever I see Mitch McConnell's jowls. And as seen here, the cleanup brush didn't even really help that much because it was just spreading it around like RAGWE POLLEN! I ended up painting over it a bit more with one coat black and just kind of covering it. It still looks a little bit botched, but at least it doesn't resemble the jowls of doom. Let's go far, far away from that end of the stamping plate and go over here. 
I think this distressed look really fits Ruby, especially in volume 8. I won't spoil it for you, but basically, a lot of stuff happens. I had to scrape this stamp a few times, and you probably shouldn't do it more than twice because you have to go so fast, but sometimes you have to. Sometimes you just have to. Now I'm just gonna put stamping polish on top of stamping polish. Wow. That actually worked. I'm just gonna peel off Simply Peel now because it really is just no big issue. I'm gonna try a different stamping plate now. This looks like a really pretty design that nothing could possibly go wrong with. I'm gonna do all the same processes that I've been doing this entire time on every single stamp, which means that I should get a similar result, right? If Ruby could see this, this is what she'd say. I, what? I tried to stamp it anyways. I don't know why I did this, but I just thought maybe it was some kind of stamping secret I didn't know about. Obviously nothing happened. I tried this like 15 more times. I'm not kidding, 15 more times and the same exact thing happened. And eventually I had this meltdown. Okay. <sighs> and so my executive decision was to choose another stamp to do and not that stamp. Definitely not that stamp. This isn't that stamp. It does come from the same plate. But not all stamps on this plate are bad, right? Surely the turnout can't be near as bad. It can't just be nothing, right? There's gotta be something there, surely. <laughs> Let's be real. I should have seen that coming. But I accepted it at this point because now it was like 2 a.m. and I was really sleepy and I really needed to go to bed. I wouldn't mind staying up late with some kind of muscular, strong, nice, not ugly man. But for this stamping plate, how about no? So you know what? Fuck that stamping plate. I hope it dies in a fire. We're gonna go back to our maniology plate that's always treated us nicely. I was wondering if this even really fit Ruby that much, but I was just so tired at this point, I was ready to just do whatever it took to get to bed and go to sleep. Because if it isn't clear by all these videos I release, there ain't nothing else going on in my bedroom. I love how you can see through my see-through stamper in this shot, it's very cool. And pull the stamper up. Yeah, it actually worked! Okay, I'm going to sleep, good night. But not really, because I have to put a top coat on all of these, even the ring finger. Ugh! Make sure to use a smudge-free top coat whenever you do this and float it really well to try to not smudge the polish. It still happened to me a little bit in these shots, as you can see, but it's not as bad as I expected it to be. This is definitely not the day that I was waiting for with all the troubles I had with stamping. But you know what? At least you guys can see my fails and hopefully learn from them. If you know what happened with the stamping, please let me know in the comments. I would love to try this again someday when I have a bit more experience. Please make sure to like the video. It really helps out because I am a new channel with no clout. And I will see you guys next Saturday. If you're wondering what we're going to be doing, here's a hint. <laughs>